in the previous video, we talked about what it is useful to use DVC to version your data and model. In this video, we're gonna learn how to use DVC with a simple example. I will use the repository DVC demo as an example. You can follow along by cloning the link to the repository shown in the comment below. After DVC is installed in a Git project, initialize it by running DVC init. Now let's take a look and see how the current directory looks like. Cool. We can see that there are two new directory created. One is doc DVC and one is doc DVC ignore. Now let's take a look of the structure of my current directory. There are three directories I want to version control with DVC. One is data, one is image, and one is model. Now to track a file or directory, use the command DVC add. Here I will check data, model, and image. And you will see the following output. There are two things happen when we run this command. One is of the directory being tracked or added to git ignore. This will prevent all of the files inside this directory from being committed to Git. The second thing is that we have a .dvc file for all of the directories being tracked. Let's see how the data .dvc file looks like. Essentially, it is a small text file that stores information on how to assess the original data, but not the original data itself. Since the size of this text file is small, it can be versioned like source code with Git. Now, simply commit the DVC file as you would with source code. Start with adding all the changes, view the change files, commit all the changes. And finally, upload the changes to the remote directory. If we go to the remote directory, we can see that all the doc DVC files are committed. Cool, we have just created files that specify the locations of the original data. But where will we store the original data? Just like how we use git add remote to store the URL of the remote repository. We also want to use dvc remote add to store the location of the remote storage. dvc allows us to store data on Google Drive, Amazon S3, Azure Block Storage, Google Cloud Storage, DaxHub, and so on. In this video, we will store our data on DaxHub, which is a platform for data scientists and machine learning engineers to version their data, models, and code. To use DaxHub to store the data, start with go to daxhub.com, create an account, click create, click connect a repo, click connect with GitHub, then choose one of the directory to connect. After connecting to your GitHub repository, you should have the cloned version of your GitHub directory on DaxHub like this. To push the data from your local directory to DaxHub, click remote. Click DVC, then add the following command. First, we will add a DaxHub DVC remote. Next, we will add all the credentials. Now, the information about your remote will be saved under config and the information about the credentials will be saved under config.local while config will be tracked by git. Config.local will be saved locally so you don't expose your credentials on github now let's add and commit the config file cool so far we have just created the files that specify where the data is stored let's actually push the data to the remote storage by running dvc push to the origin branch aha uh -huh. seven files push now let's check the files on desktop and see if they are there you can see that these files are tracked by dvc let's click data then click the file we can see the data that we had just pushed in this video you have learned how to version control your data and model in the next video you will learn how to retrieve the data from the remote storage